you're thinking i said i wasn't gonna do a makeup tutorial but i just really wanted to do this one today we're doing a y2k inspired makeup tutorial you know early 2000s nothing too crazy i'm starting off with doing my eyebrows and you know i just want to chat to you guys for a second to be honest like it's been a little chill around here I'm just gonna be doing my makeup i don't know what you guys have been into feel free to comment what you've been into let me know so we can chat and have a conversation so i don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the news or anything but this virus is not looking cute and it's a little bit crazy because you know you think about the early 2000s and life was just chill like i'm not saying nothing happened but bro like it honestly had to be better than this because you know the more time passes the worse it gets in my opinion but Hey man, you know, you just gotta keep pushing. But I'm excited to go to school. I'm finally getting close. It's a little bit scary to be honest. Like, I feel like I've been talking about school in all of my videos and it's kinda, you know, crazy that it's a reality coming up. I'm so excited. But to do my eyebrows, the concealer I'm using is the e.l.f. concealer on the top and then I'm using the Shein concealer or Makeup Revolution on the bottom. I don't remember which one, but there it's either one of those and i just blend it out with this little small brush i always use this brush on my eyebrows it works the best and yeah i'm about to do some eyeshadow and i'm telling you this is really some 2000 eyeshadow it's one color it's pastel like how much more early 2000 can you get you know what i'm saying i'm just starting my eyelid off with some concealer that's the Shein one for sure it's a little bit lighter and i'm taking my blue color pop palette girl i love this palette and i don't ever use it and i feel bad because it works so good i love this palette so yeah we're just doing our eyeshadow but yeah I did that eyeshadow, I finished. I'm doing some eyeliner, and now that I think about it, I don't know if this is really, you know, that accurate, but I thought the eyeliner would be cute, so I added it anyway. You know, it's like a modernized version of the 2000s era on my face, so it still counts. And I know I said I wouldn't do any voiceovers for real unless I had to, but you gotta understand. It's just so hard to film in a room full of people. Well, in a house full of people, I share a room and and, you know it's just a little awkward so i still recorded it and i just give you guys a voiceover i know it's not the same effect but i still feel like i'm talking to you guys if that counts <laughs> Okay, so I'm using my Shein eyelashes. I don't know why they put the label across like that. It's kind of weird. And then I'm using my sister's eyelash glue from Lenny Lashes. Well, Linux Co. And go ahead and shop while you can because she's soon not going to be selling these things anymore. And this is a really good eyelash glue. I got this new eyelash applicator joint. And it's a little curvy one that everyone uses, kind of. And it works so good. Like, I didn't think it would work so much better than the tweezers, but it literally does. Now I can put on my eyelashes in like two minutes instead of five so i highly recommend it i'm just putting on some mascara i think this is like cover um, girl i don't know but i'm putting on some powder before my concealer because you know i see a lot of people do this and my skin is really oily like i don't know why it was really oily like that my skin doesn't get like that it was kind of weird but yeah so i just put some powder on and actually made my concealer look cute like it was looking kind of a little bit better you know what i'm saying so I definitely recommend that too. But yeah, I'm just putting on my e.l.f. concealer and using my Real Techniques sponge. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to my channel. And I'm just blending it out. And I have to be super careful blending it out to not mess up my eyeliner, which I still kind of did a little bit, but I ended up fixing it, so it was fine.
hey you know i just wanted to say if any of you out here are starting a youtube channel or you have one and it's really small don't give up man because i'm going strong and i believe that we can do it so as long as you just keep working on your channel and getting better i believe in you and you will grow i feel like there's not a lot of youtubers out here there are a few but i feel like there's not a lot of youtubers out here that want to share the youtube fame kind of i don't know if i would call it fame but platform and support you guys but i definitely want you guys to know that you do have supporters like me even if i didn't have a youtube channel i still would support all these small youtubers because you know it's hard out here to grow your channel so just keep going Oh, and yeah, I literally keep seeing like the older beauty gurus who transitioned their channels into lifestyle go back to doing some beauty videos. And I think that's so cool. Like beauty YouTube is popping back out. I'm telling you, you know, went to the shadows for a while, but it's coming back and I will forever claim to be a beauty channel because this is my start. I still love to make beauty videos. Even if it's not on here, I do make them on Instagram regardless. So I love beauty videos. I always watched them even when they was going and hiding recently. I still love them. I think that they deserve to, you know, be in the top rankings again. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so to get back into the video, I'm applying some blush here. It's just like some hot pink kind of blush. It's a little bit lighter than hot pink, but I just apply it lightly because you never want to go too heavy on this blush because it'll really show and stand out. And it might look a little funny and I don't want you guys to look a little funny out here. But yeah, I'm putting on some blush and I'm going to be going in with a brush, another brush, my face brush, and blending that out because a lot of times people just put on their blush and they just leave it and it's just a lot. I'm just saying that a lot of blush sometimes can look a little funny. And I am putting on highlight. I know this wasn't a thing in the early 2000s, but I'm putting on just a little bit because like, you know, just a little bit. Who would I be if I didn't put on highlight, you know? So I did put that on and I think this is the end of my face. Yeah, this is the end of my face. Oh, that's fun. Next, we're gonna move on to my lips. So while I'm doing my lips, I'm using this lip liner that I got from the beauty supply store. It's NK brand. Come on, everybody knows it. It's like at every beauty supply, at least around here where I live. So yeah, I'm putting on this really dark brown. And then I'm using this Milani lip cream. It's like a pretty brown. I love it. It's so pretty. Like, look at it. It's just a dark brown. And I'm putting it on. And I do put on a red gloss. Well, it's not literally red, like red, red. But it does have a red pigment to it. And I just put that on top and give it a really, really, really glossy lip. I mean, I think it's really cute, to be honest. I would wear this now. I don't know why I never do my lips for, you know? It's like a big thing to just wear some lip gloss. But this is kind of cute. I'm kind of feeling it, you know? So now I'm about to move on to my hair. I have some knotless braids right now. They're not the best. I did it myself, but I did them with my nails. And as you can see, my nails are pretty long. But they still came out good enough. Like, you know, they're cute. So I just left them in. And I'm just putting them in a high ponytail, just a little bit of them in the front, not the whole thing, because that's just crazy. And so I'm putting that in a high ponytail. It's not that hard. Anybody can do a high ponytail for real. Yeah, so I'm putting that in a high ponytail, and I'm just going to leave that in, and that's going to be my hairstyle. or just about finished. You want to make sure that your ponytail is secure, because you don't want that thing to be lopsided or falling out, anything. 
so that is the end of my hair. Oh, I forgot, to, let me put on my little sunglasses. I know these are more 90s style, but you know, they're cute. We're gonna say they're early 2000s. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. I love you guys, bye.